Welcome back to American Graduate Day. I'm Milani and we're here in KLRU's Historic Studio 6A. We're just launching into our hour on dropout prevention and re-engagement. And I'm Cameron. Our next story looks at how classical music is helping residents of Austin's Garner Betts facility reignite a passion for learning. We should mention that this particular segment is by Kennedy Hub, last year's American Graduate Day student host. All right, let's practice the end there, okay? So we can get we can make a, we can make that a bit more dramatic. It's starting to sound like something again, though, guys. These are reassuring words for a budding classical guitarist. So it's all the same notes. They've traded their uniform for sweater vest, Crocs for loafers. For an hour every Tuesday and Thursday, Demetrius, Peter, and Israel get to escape their reality. I used to actually have a real bad anger problem. So uh, when I would like get real angry or whatever, or I'd be like sad, I guess you could say, or just like withdrawn, I'd get my guitar. And Austin Classical Guitar began partnering with Gardner Betts Juvenile Justice Center five years ago. Residents who take the guitar class earn their fine art credit to graduate high school and learn to better cope with the emotions that may have gotten them into trouble in the past. It's just giving me something to do when I'm either bored or like thinking about doing something, I guess that's not in my best interest. <laughs> Jeremy Osborne began teaching at Gardner Betts last semester. When I took over, I knew what to expect, um, you know, but I, there was a lot of trepidation actually. When the kids first start, you know, it takes them a while to warm up to you or just really even trust you at all. And, uh, you know, they would test me a whole lot. And on the first day, they're kind of like, you know, you think about, you know, the guitar is such an exciting instrument. And by the end of the first class, they're just like, whoa, I can't believe we did that. That's amazing. Students in the program get the privilege of performing at least once a semester. Last May, they got the opportunity to perform here for the court-appointed special advocates of Travis County swearing-in ceremony. We got in the courtroom. They played beautifully, just amazing playing. Like there was, they got two standing ovations, and they just they were in their court clothes and they looked super professional and they sounded professional and they were just completely elated with themselves. Oh man, I was scared on that because I was the only person that played my solo that day. And it was, I was, I was nervous. I was like, man, if I mess up in front of all these people. But I played it, I played it good. The Director of Health Services for the Travis County Probation Department, Aaron Foley, sees a long-term impact this program has on residents. But I, I know that the kids who go through that program, um, the types of responses and changes that we see in them um, are noticeable and significant in that, kind of what they, they do with that program and in their treatment alongside of it absolutely moves in a positive direction. So we see things like accountability, taking responsibility for their actions. The guitar class also shows residents a future they might not have thought was possible. I'm 18, and I was out to see the day that uh, I'd be graduating, but I really like the feeling that everybody in my family graduated high school, at least. Instead of going down the wrong road, I can go down the right one, you know? Prior to joining the program, Peter was a high school dropout. This fall, he'll attend San Jacinto College to study music production. I mean, I dropped out 10th grade. I didn't go back until I got locked up. I would have never took guitar without being here, so my mom's excited. And usually, if she heard something about me, it was always bad. And it feel good to have something good, like graduating high school, learning how to play the guitar, going to school. And now it's just, every time she sees me, she just smiles. I'm sure her cheeks hurt by now. Reporting for PBS NewsHour for the PBS Student Reporting Labs, I'm Kennedy Huff. All day we've been sharing with you students stories about their champions, people who have helped them stay on track to graduate. That's the story with our next champion, who went from authority figure to father figure in the eyes of one young man. My name is Cesar Aros and I am a sophomore at Cedar Ridge High School. And my champion is Javier Hernandez, the deputy sheriff of my old middle school. Growing up, my dad was never really around. He would always be out of town, far away, and practically didn't live with me and my family ever since I was in the fourth grade. I started to like a father figure in my life. Ever since I met him in the sixth grade, 
he started to become a mentor and started inspiring me ever since. And I really started to see him as my father figure because he was a person that really got to know me and cared for me. And he would always be a person that would help me out no matter what the situation was. And he would always help me out in my academics. And he was the actual person that got me started uh, thinking about college. My American graduate is Javier Hernandez. And you can start recognizing someone making a difference in your community by going to calru.org slash American Graduate. That's all the time we have for now. You're watching American Graduate Day on KLRU.